I'm gonna shoot two rounds here um, at 100 yards. I have a steel target set up and also I have dirt right behind it. I'm gonna do the first shot on steel and I'm gonna do the second shot into the dirt. I got 13 mile an hour crosswind right now. Hopefully the audio is really good. Uh, this thing sounds amazing and it's operating the way it should. folks were asking in my last video what's up with the new rifle what's the new caliber uh, guys this is nothing new to the shooting industry uh, but it is definitely new to me it is the six creed guys the six millimeter creed more um, I'm excited about it uh, it's like I said it's new to me I've never shot it I got plenty of friends that do competitive shooting and they're fully aware of the six creed uh, some of them have them some of them don't but they've been around it and they said Amatine you're gonna love that cartridge and I started doing my research. Originally, uh, I started out with the MDT ACC chassis, and in mine, I wanted a heavy barrel 223 for coyotes. And I reached out to a good friend of mine, Chet Dorman, out there in East Texas, and uh, he's helped me out with some builds in the past, and he said, Amatine, you probably want to check out the 6mm Creed. And I was like, oh, man. Uh, immediately, I started thinking, you know, ballistics like a 308, you know, uh, 6.5. And he says, no, man, that thing will be cooking. It, it will get there and it'll, be, it'll raise hell on coyotes and it'll raise hell on pigs. So I said, you know what, screw it, let's go ahead and do it. So he helped me out with the build. We have a Bartland barrel here. Uh, this is an M24 Contour. So uh, if you guys are into guns or you're into bolt guns, you already know this is a huge barrel. Uh, the reason why I wanted this was because of the weight and also uh, just for the looks, to be honest with you. Uh, the MDT ACC chassis has a huge channel up here for your barrel. And I've noticed with the smaller barrels, uh, they just look really flimsy inside this chassis. And the M24 fits so good. Uh, one thing you guys are going to notice is how short this barrel is. This rail here, the forend is actually about 18 inches long. And I told them, uh, the guys that were helping me out with the build, it's uh, e uh, ETX Accuracy Outfitting. Uh, they're out of East Texas, and Chet Dorman knows these guys really good. And it's actually stamped right here on the barrel. It's ETX Accuracy Outfitting. Uh, they're out of East Texas. Uh, I'm not sure if they have a website, but it'd be good if you check them out on Facebook. Uh, but anyways, uh, everybody was recommending a full-length barrel. You know, you usually see Six Creed with a 24, 26-inch barrel. Uh, but this rig is not built for long-range daytime shooting or hunting. I'm a night hunter, and I cannot have this huge barrel with a 9-inch suppressor at the end of it. It's just too much gun, especially with the M24 Contour. I said, guys, we need to get that thing cut down short. I said, I want my threads to start right at the end of the fore end of the uh, ACC chassis. Uh, they got it out about um, close to a half inch out from the fore end. Uh, me personally, I probably would have liked it if it was about a quarter inch shorter, uh, but this is fine. It looks really good the way it is. Uh, so this is a 19, around a 19 and a half inch barrel, okay? Um, again, Bartland. M24 Contour. The action is another Arc Nucleus, guys. I really like this action. You guys seen it in my 308 build. It's a really fast action, and it gets better the more you shoot it. Uh, another thing that I really enjoy about the Arc Nucleus is the manual extractor. Uh, you're not going to see it. Uh, you might be able to see it, but there's a manual extractor here on the other side. So you get a full pull on the bolt and it will sling brass about uh, six to eight foot. This thing is an animal. Uh, it's got their barbell um, knob on here. I'm probably gonna change it out for the knurled one. Uh, we are running Federal, hold on. I got the box of ammo right here. Shot my first 20 rounds today. Uh, you guys seen at the beginning of the clip, I just want you guys to hear audio with the suppressor in this setup. 
shooting steel and actually shooting into the dirt. Uh, this is Federal Premium Gold Metal Burger, uh, 105 grain hybrid open tip match. Um, I don't have any uh, chrono out here, uh, but I can tell you guys right now, uh, once my boy Clay, uh, big shout out to Clay, he's gonna help me out with some custom loads for this. Uh, you'll see him on a video here pretty soon when we get this all said and done. Uh, we're trying to shoot for about 3,200 to 3,300 feet per second, possibly with some 103s. Uh, we might have to go a little bit lighter. We don't know yet. We need to figure out what the gun likes to shoot. I'm really, really, when it comes to these custom guns, it's all about finding that load. And it's a recipe. And these guys that are really deep into this, they enjoy it. And Clay is one of those guys. He really enjoys loading ammunition. So we're going to find what this rifle likes and we're going to feed it. So pretty stoked about that. We got the slide tactical uh, two point sling. We have another I Ray Bolt TL 35. This is a 384. Uh, hands down, one of my favorite scopes, especially on a bolt gun configuration. Uh, MDT's grip. Uh, the skeletonized stock MDT 12 round magazine. This is the same magazine that you would use with your 308 and 65 Creedmoor. Uh, we have a Hoptics, I want to say Hoptic USA. Yeah, Hoptic USA two round holder. This is an aluminum. And there's already holes here on the side for the MDT. I just moved it up a little bit so it can clear the, uh, the actual chamber here. That way I don't have any problems with extraction or, or ejecting rounds. Uh, so I just moved it up in the first M-lock slot and then I went into the next threaded part here. So that's aluminum and it holds two rounds. I know some people are looking at that and they're like, well, what do you need all that extra ammunition for? You would be amazed how many times I've gotten into a group of coyotes or pigs and you'll run through 12 rounds really easy, especially with the 10 rounders. Um, anyways, we got the ADM uh, Recon S mount here. Uh, this is not like what you see on the ARs with the cantilever mount. Uh, you see me run that before in the past. It works great, uh, but it gets your optic a little too far out. Uh, you want to be able to have it set to where you have the proper eye relief. So I have proper eye relief right where it's at right now. We have a Trigger Tech. I uh, oh, can't remember if it was a diamond. I'll have it in the description. Uh, trigger Tech Trigger here. I love Trigger Tech Triggers in my bolt actions. My ARs, I like the CMCs and the Geisleys, but in the bolt action, I love Trigger Tech Triggers. Um, suppressor, we have the Otter Creek Labs Hydrogen. This is a nine inch suppressor weighing in about 12 ounces. And guys, they switched up their end cap with the, the threaded part. It's a direct thread. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty flush. They used to have a bronze one that had about a nut sticking out, uh, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a half inch. And I guess. I guess Andrew heard me bitching about it and he made this one flush and I absolutely love this end cap on this suppressor. So I'm pretty stoked about that. You guys heard the video, it sounds really good. We got the two vets uh, tripod here. I'm not even gonna tell you what model I have yet because I need to spend some time behind this and get some experience with it and get you guys some feedback. But so far, so good, I like it. That's gonna be a separate video. Enough of me talking. This is the breakdown of the rig. Uh, again, we're gonna try to find some custom loads for it and make this thing shoot lights out. But right now, guys, I can already tell I'm gonna get hooked on this thing. And I have other bolt guns that I love. I love my 308s, I love my 6.5, but, oh man, this thing is, oh, this, it, you, I can just tell a huge difference in the speed. At 100 yards getting behind it and I'm pulling that trigger, you can tell that that projectile is getting there a lot faster. It sounds really good. I had my hearing protection on. I took it off for a sec just to try to get a sound, uh, you know, try to get a feel of it, and it does not hurt. It sounds really good. Uh, there's a lot of guns that, you know, I have suppressed, and they're so loud it just makes your stomach hurt, even suppressed. you got to have some hearing protection, but this is a very pleasant platform to shoot. I'm excited. Uh, I know a lot of people are worried about weight, so we'll say weight real quick. Uh, guys, right now, the way you're seeing it, this complete setup, we're looking at about 15 and a half pounds. A lot of people are going to cringe on that, and I apologize. I'm sorry that a rig this big is uncomfortable for you, uh, but I absolutely love it. Uh, the PRS guys, the guys that are really hardcore in the shooting, 
uh, their rigs can weigh a lot more than that. Uh, and they're running around competitively shooting those big platforms. It does not bother me. Weight does not bother me. Lint does. So if I have a 15 plus pound rig that's, you know, got a 24, 26 inch barrel on it with a suppressor, it's not fun to hunt with. It's just, it turns into a problem. I'm super, super excited about this setup. Um, I forgot the overall length. I actually have measured tape here. Let me get the overall length here. I believe it was 40, 47 and a half inches. 47 and a half inches. So that's the overall length. Again, the stock collapses over. I don't have anything else to say, but thank you to MDT. Thank you to ETX Accuracy Outfitting. Thank you, Chet Dorman. Thank you, IRA. I mean, I, there's just so many people to thank here. And if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't be able to get this thing done in a timely manner. Uh, I'm extremely comfortable with this setup. It's going to be a weapon that's going to probably stay close to me for a really long time. And again, guys, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this setup. We're going to have a little bit of hunting, a little bit of paper shooting, and just let you guys know exactly how it's doing and uh, break it in. You know, I've only shot 20 rounds through it so far, so it's hard to tell what, what exactly is going on. we got to break this barrel in and find what she likes to shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next vid.